There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Twilight Zone. This is Joey Crown. Who? Joey Crown. I called before. Can you speak up, sir? I called a couple of times and I left a message. Do you have a reservation? Me? No, not exactly. I mean, this is Joey Crown, the trumpet player. I'm having trouble hearing you. Did Baron get my message? I don't know about any message. The band's on now. I can hear that. Boy, can I? And the second set is at 10:30. Do you want a table? I don't need a table. Tell Baron I'll fall by if I can. <laughs> you know how it is. I got a gig all the way across town. How do you spell your name? Just tell Baron that Joey Crown's coming. Okay, sweets. Man, oh man. <laughs> Just wait till he sees me. Hey, Bobby, what's happening? Name? You know me. It's. Wait a minute. Who are you? You have a reservation. Hey, pal. We've been waiting for a half hour. He got in line. How you doing? Sorry, folks, but I'm supposed to be inside. Hold on. I gotta check the list. I'm not on the list. See, I got a gig here tonight. Oh, you're in the band. Well, not in it exactly. Baron knows I'm coming. He'll let me sit in. I'm sure of it. First show sold out. If you want to put your name down for ten thirty, just tell Baron. All right? He'll count me. Hey, fella. Hang on. There's been a little misunderstanding. No, I mean I know you. You do? Didn't you used to be Joey Crown? Used to be? What do you mean used to be? Crown, Crown. Ah,、oh, sorry, man. You're not on the comp list. If you want to wait in line. Hey, hey, hold on. See this? It's a trumpet case. I'm not some piker. I played with Baron lots of times. I used to work the page three and the gate. What's the matter? Don't you believe me? Ask Gordy. He owns the joint. Meet Joey Crown, a man who made music, or used to, a little man with a funny rubber face whose life is a quest for decent billing and other impossible things, like flowers in concrete or trying to pluck a note of music out of the air and put it under glass to treasure, because it is a treasure to him, and if the truth be told, to a lot of people who heard him play when he was hot. When he could take a tune and turn it inside out with a dented, beat-up golden horn, his solos were the stuff legends are made of. Until he took a turn for the worse. For a while now, the only notes to come out of his trumpet have been, well, slightly sour and off-key. Joey Crown, who in just a moment will decide to leave the earth for a steady gig in another kind of club, one located in an out-of-the-way place we call the Twilight Zone. And now the Twilight Zone and our story, A Passage for Trumpet, starring Mike Starr, with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Five out here if you want, Mister Baron. Ah,、oh, sure thing, Artie. You guys just play the smoking set. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks. I came in early on the bridge. You did all the changes. <sighs> nice set, boys. Was it okay? I couldn't tell. That sounded good to me. Just the way I like it. Sure was. Man, you guys know how to swing. Who's that?、Uh, too dark to see. I think it's. Hey, Joey. What do you say, Baron? <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, what do you think? I brought my axe. What for? I thought you might need somebody with a horn. I already got my sideman, Joey. Sure, sure you do. But I was thinking I could sit in, you know, for the second set.、Uh, not tonight. Just a few choruses. Maybe some other time. Why not? 
You know how good I can play. Easy, Joey. But why? The last time you played trumpet for me, you lost it up. I did? I had to share you with a bottle. A bottle? Me? Oh, you got the wrong guy. You and that horn don't belong together on the same stage anymore. You mean six, seven months ago? Oh, that was just a bad night. I forgot what it tastes like. I'm on the wagon now. Way up. That right, Joey. Who's your brass section? Right here. Meet my new trumpet player. Yeah? That was him? Yeah, that was me. Don't get me wrong. He sounded great in there. Really cooking. But what do you think I am? Some kind of a lush? Listen, Baron, I know what that stuff does to me. I ain't an old man yet. Me and my horn got a lot of years left. I could be a number one boy again. Club date, sessions, the whole bit. Hey, take it easy. What do you think I'm gonna do? Chuck it all away in some bum habit? Be serious. Listen, man, this is one mellow horn, and I got sweet music in me. A whole lot of it. You know yourself, when I open that case and pick that thing up and blow, I can make them cry. That you can, Joey. I remember. So what's the big deal? I can come in behind your man on the bridge. Then I sit out while he takes his solo. Then we trade choruses and I... You drop something, Joey? That's not mine, honest. I never saw it before. I... It was in your coat pocket. I saw it the minute you walked up. Come on, boys. Let's go back in. No, you come on, Baron. What are you trying to do to me? All I need's a chance. Okay, it's showtime. Go on. I'll be right there. All I need's a chance. One shot. That's what you need, all right. <laughs> a shot. Better make it a double. That's not what I mean. No, don't worry about the mess, Joey. Somebody will clean it up for you. They always do. I'm sorry, Baron. But if you knew what it's been like to... One thing I don't know. When a guy has so many friends, why would he hang out with his worst enemy? All right, all right. I get it. I shouldn't have come here. We've been doing all right at the club. Sold out most every night. So let me lay some green on you. And your share. For old times' sake. Keep your money. Hey, hey, for old times. Come on, man. When you had the magic. Remember? Harry James and Max Kaminsky and Berrigan and Butterfield and Diz and Miles. Man, you had a little bit of all of them. And you traded it for some bad booze. Well, you got took. That was no kind of a deal. You got the crummy end of the stick. I don't want your charity, okay? I got one question for you, Joey. Why'd you throw it all away? Maybe because... Because I'm sad all the time. Because I'm nothing anymore, and I know it. Because from now on, I'll live and die in a crummy one-roomer with dirty walls and cracked pipes. I'll never have a girl because I'm an ugly little gnome. I'll never be anybody again because half of me is that horn. I can't even talk to people without it. That's my language. Go easy on yourself, Joey. Oh, but when I'm high, Baron. When I'm high, I can't see how dirty the walls are. I don't see the cracked pipes. I don't even know the clock's running. That the hours are going by. Then I'm Gabriel. I'm Gabriel with the golden horn. And when I put it to my mouth and blow, it comes out jewels. It comes out a symphony. It comes out the smell of flowers and summer nights. It comes out... It comes out beauty. When I'm drunk, Baron. Only when I'm drunk. Take care of yourself, son. Oh, man. I got so much misery here. I got so much sadness, I'm nothing. I'm just plain ordinary nothing. I'm so tired of hanging out. City air. Ah. 
All right, Joey. It's showtime. I gotta write this in the blues, all right? Don't stop. Who are you? Please, play some more. What are you doing up here on the roof? Well, I suppose I could ask the same of you. I wanted to be by myself. Don't you know it's the middle of the night? Yes. Couldn't sleep either, huh? Would you please play a bit more? I can't play. Why do you say that? I thought it sounded beautiful. What do you know? Well, I don't know much about music, I admit. But it had so much feeling. You have a gift. Once upon a time, maybe, but that was a long time ago. Use it or lose it, right? What? You wanna... <laughs> of course you don't. You look like a nice girl. A real nice girl. You haven't answered my question. What is this, a quiz show? Why can't you play? I just can't. Got it? Mm, is it because that bottle's empty? Not yet it's not. You want to know why? Okay. The reason I can't blow that horn anymore is that too much of me is in there. Too much of Joey Crown. Is that your name? It was. Oh, it's a nice name. I like the sound of it. You don't know who I am either, do you? You don't know anything. I'm sorry. I just like the way you play. Well, I have played my last note. Yes, ma'am. My very last note. No more. Well, I think that's what's sad. Then I'm sorry. I'll just have to disappoint you. It's been very nice making your acquaintance. You look like a nice person. A very sweet person. Thank you. You're new here. You come out from Iowa or Cincinnati or someplace like that, and you don't know anybody. I could have shown you around. I could have taken you places where they play some nice jazz, you know? All we'd have to do is ride the subway down to the village, walk around. This place is everywhere. On every street, almost. There was a time, there was a time when you could have heard me play. Now, it's too late, so go home, lady. Go back to where you came from. Cause she'll never make it here. This town's too tough for people like you. Go on. It's, it's been nice talking to you. Yeah, it's been a ball. Now do me a favor. Get lost. Way to go, Joey. Every time something nice happens, you go and wreck it. What's the matter with you? You're stupid, Joey. Stupid. You know something? This town's too tough for me, too. So wake up. Time for something else, Joey. Anything. Time to get out. Or die. Oh. Wait a minute. The heck is that? Nobody ever played that good. Not even Joey Crown. Nobody on this earth! Hi, Ned. How's it going? Back again. I need some cash. You and me both. Look, Joey, I can't keep loaning you money on that beat-up old trumpet. What do you mean? You know this horn. It's got a tone you wouldn't believe. That's the trouble. They all sound great when somebody's playing them. Look around. I got enough instruments to equip Sousa's band. I need another bugle like I need my taxes raised. But this horn's been around. It's got character. I played it at Newport. I played it on so many sessions you couldn't count them all. Go over there and flip through those records in a the box. 
I bet you got 20, 30 albums I'm on. You name it, this is the horn. The same one. Ah, trumpet is a trumpet, Joey. It's the man who plays it. That's what counts. Otherwise, it's just a pile of brass. 20 bucks. What? You gave me 40 last time. Like you said, it's been around. The case has got dents in it. Listen, Ned, I'm serious. So am I. What I need is enough to get a bus ticket out of the Port Authority. Taking a little vacation, huh? Atlantic City? At this time, I'm leaving for good. Twenty bucks won't get me out of Jersey. Then you're not coming back. Not in your life. This is the new Joey Crown. I'm turning over a new leaf. If you're selling... Twenty-five. That's my best offer. Take it or leave it. Okay, okay. Twenty-five. All right. Sign here. Just think, Ned. After today, you won't have Joey Crown to kick around anymore. This is the last time you'll see my ugly mug in here. You can count on that. Now hurry up before I change my mind. You want to kiss it goodbye? I already did that. Changing jobs, huh? Yeah. I'm going to start a new career. Digging ditches. So you uh, don't need it anymore? That's right. Like I don't need lungs. See you in the funny papers. Then if you're sure... I'm sure. I'll go ahead and put it in the window. Wait a minute. You put a sign on it. Seventy-five bucks. Nothing personal, Joey. Business is business. A man's got to make a profit these days. Sure, but you only gave me a third of that. Uh, guys like you just don't get it. I mean, what's money to somebody who plays jazz all night? Sleep until noon. What kind of responsibilities you got? Nothing, right? Not a thing. Yeah, nothing. A big fat zero. Hey, mister, watch where you're going. Get out of my way. Hey, don't cross the street like that. Mind your business. Hey, buddy, get out of the way. Leave me alone. Watch out. You think I can? You're gonna get killed. Oh, my gosh. He just walked right out in traffic. Like he could care less. Somebody call an ambulance. Stand back, folks. The paramedics are on their way. Uh, I'm sorry about that, officer. I, I don't know what happened, but I can assure you I'm not what you'd call drunk. He's not breathing. Give the policeman room. No rush on that ambulance. He's gone. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. There was this big truck that went by, and man, let me tell you, it gave me a kiss. I, I don't see it now, but uh, I'm not drunk. You can ask Officer Flaherty. This is his beat, and he'll vouch for me. I'm not the kind of guy who goes around walking on red lights. Okay, folks. Party's over. What is going on? I'm okay, I tell you. Something like that, it shakes a guy up. I need a smoke. Hey, man, you got a match? What's the matter? You can't hear me? I'm not a bum. I just want a light, that's all. Excuse me, buddy. You wouldn't happen to have a light, would you? Hey, fella, do you have a... Some town, all right. Real friendly. I gotta sit down someplace. Step right in, folks. First show starts in ten minutes. Hey, Mac. What's playing at the Bijou today? Anything good? Tickets, please. I asked you a question. What's the movie? Everybody inside. Snack bar straight ahead. Seat to the left and right. Okay. I'm buying the ticket, see? I'm no freeloader. You wanna sell me a ticket, miss? I got money. Hey, where's the girl that always works here? I gotta tell Gracie what happened to me. I just tangled with a Mack truck, and the next thing I knew... Yeah, two tickets, please. Yes, sir. Here you are. What, am I invisible? You don't want to sell me a ticket? Why not? My money's as good as the next guy's. If you don't want to sell me one, then I'll just go see the manager. What do you think of that? Where's Vincent? He's an old friend of mine. Vince? Where are you? Anybody? That's what's wrong with this town. Nobody's got manners anymore. You think I was some place that nobody ever heard of, like I'm some kind of untouchable. I mean, at least when you talk to people, they could say a couple of words when you ask them for a match or a ticket or something. What's the name of this flick anyway? Really scary stories. Ha, looks like a winner. What is this, a horror movie? No thanks, I gotta get out of here. Excuse me, if you could move your feet a little. Sorry, I didn't mean to step right through your leg. Hey, what's going on? Where is everybody? You, behind the counter, can't you hear me? Are you deaf? 
Those people in there, they couldn't see me or feel me. I stepped right on one guy's toe. Pinch me, I'm real, ain't I? Wait a minute, is somebody pulling a gag? Vince trying to shake me up? Well, now look, miss, is somebody trying to... Look at me! Right behind you in the mirror. It's my reflection. I can't even see myself. So, I'm dead. Can you beat that? I'm DOA. Just plain old deceased. Two margaritas, Nick. Coming right up. And another round for table number two. You got it. Could you pour one for me while you're at it? Eh, uh, guess not. How does that go? Water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink. <laughs> you get it, don't you? I'm a ghost, see? That truck must have done it after all. Understand? I'm haunting you. Ain't that something? At last, for the first time in his short, miserable life at Joey Crown, he was finally successful at something. Hey, Nick. Hey, how you doing, Mr. D? Yeah, how about a Manhattan transfer? No ice. You got it. Nick, huh? Charlie must be off. Because if he was here, he couldn't hear me either. None of you can hear me. And nobody can see me. I used to come in here a lot. I don't recognize any of you people. And you wouldn't have noticed me. I mean, I'm not the kind of guy anybody noticed. I guess I'm kind of like a little blob or something. But Charlie, Charlie used to give me a little drink now and then on the house. He was a real nice guy. You know what he did one time? You know what he did? He went out and got an old Buddy Rich record from way back when I was playing with him. And on the record, there's this long solo with me on the horn. And Charlie goes and orders it like a big surprise for me and puts it on the jukebox. <laughs> oh, would you believe it? Nice thing for old Charlie to do. When I was still alive. Thanks, Nick. My pleasure, Dollface. Funny thing, though. I mean, if this is it, what happens next? Just go walking from place to place till it gets dark. You know, this could wear a guy down. I mean, nobody to talk to, nobody to listen to. Not even a horn to play. Not anymore. Oh, excuse me. Am I in your way? Not that you care, huh? You can walk right through me, because I'm just a ghost. Plain old nothing little man, and a plain old nothing little ghost. Hey, it's that trumpet player I heard. The same one. You're good. Real good. Thanks. I mean it. The tone's so clean and pure. You got some chops. Who's Baron? Oh, he took the night off. I see. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah? You said thanks. That's right. Then, I, I can't believe this. You can hear me? Sure I can, Joey. I hear you just fine. You really hear me? I hear you. You see me? Very clearly. Ah, uh, I get it. Are you a ghost too? Not really. I am. I stepped in front of a large vehicle this morning. Is that right? It ain't good for the health, believe me. I'll bet it's not. Say, if you don't mind my asking, who have you played with before? Before what? Before now. What bands? Oh, I've played all over. Yeah, but with who? Dizzy? Miles? Those were great horn men. They sure were. Did you study at Juilliard, Berkeley? I guess you might say I picked it up on the fly, here and there. You sure got a great trumpet. The way it shines. Custom made, huh? You want to try it out, Joey? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. You mind? Whatever you like. Joey? You call me Joey. Joey Crown. That's the name, isn't it? Yeah. 
but we ain't never been introduced. Not formally, but I know who you are. You play a nice trumpet. I know. I'm an expert on trumpets. You ain't no slouch on it, that's for sure. Go ahead. Not bad, Joey. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, ain't that something? I can play again. Now that it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean by that? Now that I'm dead. How come you know who I am? You say you're not a ghost, you're not dead? Nope. And neither are you, Joey. I'm not? By no means. But what about that truck? What about it? And what about uh, the people in the bar, in the movie theater, the girl in the ticket booth, the people in the street? Oh, them. Well, you see, they are dead. But that doesn't make sense. How? They're the ghosts, Joey. They just don't know it. Huh? You're losing me. Sometimes, to make it easier, we have to work it that way. We let them go on in a life that they're familiar with, and they never know for a long while. But that's why they can't hear you. You're the one that's alive. But, but like I said, I stepped off that curb. That you did. And right now, Joey, you're in a kind of limbo. You're neither here nor there. You're in the middle. You're on a break between sets, so to speak, waiting to go on in the real world or the shadow world. Which do you prefer, Joey? Which? Well, just what do you think? I want another chance. Think it over, now. I have thought it over. I, I used to think I was getting dealt from the bottom of the deck, but you know something? I just, I just forgot how much I had already. I forgot about the music I could make on the horn and how nice it sounded. I'd have to agree with you there. And going to Charlie's and talking to people, real people, and maybe uh, maybe going to the movies now and then. Cutting a record once in a while, walking in the park, hitting the clubs late at night. Even when it was rainy or snowing and I had to bundle up like an Eskimo. I miss that. I really do. I never won a beauty contest, but I had friends. I had good friends. What do you think happened to all that? Somewhere along the line, I, I forgot the good things. That's what happened. I just forgot. You've got a choice, you know. A choice? One way or the other. It's not too late. Well, in that case, if I've got a choice, then I want to go back, understand? I want to go back. All right. You go back. Just like that? But, Joey, no more stepping off curbs. That was some stunt back there. From now on, you take what you get and you live with it. Sometimes it'll be sweet frosting and nice gravy, and sometimes it'll be sour and go down hard. But you live with it, Joey. I think I got it. Guess I better take my trumpet back. Oh, it is sure here. Yeah. That's a nice talent you've got. You really think so? To make music, to move people, to make them laugh and make them cry, to make them tap their feet and want to dance. That's an exceptional talent, Joey. Don't waste it. See you around. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, mister. What is it, Joey? I didn't get your name. How's that? I didn't get your name. My name? Call me Gabe. Gabe? Gabe. Short for Gabriel. Goodbye, Joey. Gabriel? Hey, wait. Wait, I gotta ask you something. Hey, mister, watch where you're going. Get out of my way. Hey, don't cross the street like that. Hey, buddy, get out of the way. Watch out! You're gonna get killed! Oh, my God! He just walked right out in traffic. Like he could care less. Somebody call an ambulance. Wait, he's breathing. Uh, I'm all right, all right. Just, just let me get up. You okay, pal? I think so. Let me help you up there. Oh, you know you shouldn't ought to do that. Stepping off the curb like that. It's lucky I just grazed you. Don't worry about it. No harm done. He's all right. Oh, thank God. He could have been killed. Well, uh, look. I am 14 years without an accident. That right. I'd be obliged if, well, you know, no insurance companies, no doctors, nothing like that. So, um, how much do you want? For what? To keep this just between us. Name your price. My price? 
Oh, uh, let's see now. Uh, you got, let me see, 75 bucks? That all? Sure, sure, I got that much. I got more if you want. 75 will do. Okay, 50, 60, 75. Here you go, pal. Good luck to you. I gotta go now. Well, what do you know about that? Hello, can I... Oh, it's you. Hi, Ned. Change your mind already? Yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> they come and they go. But you, Joey, you're the first one to go and then come back. I know, I know. I don't want to hear your argument. No argument. I guess I can let you have it. How much? Seventy-five? No, oh, no, no. Twenty-five. He'll talk me back down anyway. How long has it been? Five minutes? Not even enough time to accrue interest. Go, go. The sign says 75, and 75 it is. A man has to make a living. Uh, you tempt me, Joey. Right is right. It's only business. What did you do out there? Win the lottery? Something like that. Goodbye, Ned. You won't be seeing me for a while. Hope business picks up. You too, Mr. Jazzman. But tell me something. Anything. What have I done to deserve such good fortune? Oh, nothing much. You've been my friend, is all. For quite a few years, and I'll never forget that. Uh, get out of here. Go on. Beautifully. What? Oh, hi. Hi there. I mean it, you know. Thank you. I gave it up this morning. And I'm taking it back. Me and the bugle. Till death do us part. <laughs> I'm glad you changed your mind. So am I. You don't know. Still can't sleep, huh? Uh, I'm not used to this city. All the noise. <laughs> I know. Like a regular symphony, isn't it? I... I guess so. <laughs> I've never been to New York before. I just moved in. Yeah? You'll get used to it. It's an okay building. Better than the other ones I've lived in. Sometimes you have to bang on a radiator to get the heat going. W why do you do that? Why? Because the super hears you and then he fixes it. If he doesn't, just let me know. I'll talk to him for you. Name's Joey, by the way. Joey Crown. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How? You told me. Before. Oh. <sighs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm sorry for that stuff I said. Don't be. My name's Nan. Pleased to meet you, Nan. I was hoping you'd come back. You are? Yeah, you're the most interesting person I've met in New York. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's a lot of guys around here. Most of them ain't little apes like me. I mean it. The most interesting. And the nicest. I love your music. Honest? Honest. Will you play some more, Joey? Sure, I'll play some more. I'll play whatever you like, for as long as you like. What's your favorite song? I, I don't think I have one. Well, I know a couple you might like. Well, that would be nice. You know, you, you might get to like it here. It's not a bad town. I'm sure it isn't. Maybe... Maybe you could show me some of it, Joey. If you have time. Me? Oh, I got time, all right. I got nothing but time from now on. I'll show you everything. The Battery, Central Park, The Village. I'll show you 52nd Street. And we'll hear some good jazz. I mean good. I'll take you to Charlie's. You'll like Charlie's. It's a great place. And you know what? 
You're not going to believe this, but he's got a record of mine when I was playing with one of the big bands. At least, I think he still has it. If he doesn't, there's a little pawn shop I know that has all kinds of records in back. And we can pick up a copy and bring it home and listen to it. Joey Crown, who makes music in the present tense. Who knows a thing or two about tunes and chord changes and how to play his acts. And who just discovered something about life. That it can be rich and rewarding and full of beauty, like the music he plays, if he only takes the time to look and listen. Joey Crown, who finally got a cue and a clue in the Twilight Zone. More from the Twilight Zone after this. You are about to enter another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land of imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone. Hi, this is Stacy Keach. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our Twilight Zone website at twilightzoneradio.com. At twilightzoneradio.com, you'll find the latest information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas, including behind-the-scenes photographs, plus the newest product releases, trivia contests, ways to contact us, other Twilight Zone-related info and merchandise, plus links to other fascinating websites. So make your next stop TwilightZoneRadio.com. Visit TwilightZoneRadio.com to purchase these Twilight Zone radio dramas on cassette and CD or call toll-free 1-866-989-ZONE. That's 1-866-989-9663. A Passage for Trumpet, starring Mike Starr with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etchison and based on a script by Rod Serling. Heard in the cast were Doug James, Brooke Sanford, Jeff Lupiton, David Darlow, Kurt Nabig, Meg Falcon, Lynn Foley, Carl Amari, Sarah Marks, Chuck Somar, Vince Amari, Karina Karpolovsky, Bo Nortel, and Roger Wolski, with special trumpet stylings by Chuck Somar. To learn more about the Twilight Zone radio dramas and to obtain audio cassettes and CDs of these programs, visit our website at twilightzoneradio.com. The producers of the Twilight Zone wish to thank CBS Enterprises, Carol Serling, Dennis Etchison, Dick Brescia Associates, Claire Simon Casting, Terry Jennings, the American Forces Radio and Television Service, our sponsors and our radio affiliates for helping make this series possible. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari and Roger Wolski for Falcon Picture Group. Doug James speaking.